Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk more about subsetting data using square bracket. I've already gone ahead and imported the lung cap data into R and attached it. The lung cap data was introduced earlier in this series of videos. In previous videos, we learned the dim or dimensions command. We can use this to ask about the dimensions of our data. Here we can see it has 725 rows and 6 columns. We can also use the length command to ask about the number of observations in a vector or a variable. Here we can see age consists of 725 observations. We've also explored the use of the square brackets on a single variable or vector. Here we can take a look at ages for observations 11 up to 14. We've also looked at the use of square brackets on a matrix or a data frame. Here we can look at the lung cap data, all observations in row 11 up to 14, and we'll leave this blank to include all columns. Let's now take subsetting one step further and see how we can subset data based on values of other variables in the data set. For example, let's calculate the mean age but only for females. Here we would like to calculate the mean for the variable age, and we can use the square brackets to subset only females. Here we'll specify remove ages, only those whose gender is equal to female. A double equal sign. What does this mean? Recall that a single equal sign can be used to assign values to objects, while the double equal sign is used to represent the meaning of equality in a mathematical sense. The word female is placed in quotations as it is a character string for a factor. Here we can see the levels of the gender variable are female and male. Now let's do the same and calculate the mean age, but this time subsetting for males. We can also go ahead and create a subset of the data containing information for only the females. We'll go ahead and do this and save it in an object called femdata. Here we would like to go into this object lung cap data and we would like to remove rows where the gender is female and we'll include all columns. Let's go ahead and do the same but this time for males, producing a subset of data containing only the males. We'll call this object male data. Let's go ahead and confirm that R has done what we wanted and subsetted the female and male data. First, we can check the dimension of each of these objects. Fem data, 358 rows, six columns. The male data, 367 rows, six columns. If we ask for a summary of the gender variable, we can say there's 358 females, 367 males, as there should be. And we can also take a look at fem data. We'll look at the first four rows and all columns for this object. Now, let's take this one step further and we can pull out a subset of data for males who are over 15 years old. We'll call this object male over 15. And in this, we will store the lung cap data, pulling out rows where the gender is male, and the age is greater than 15. And we'll leave this blank again, indicating we'd like all columns. We can go ahead and check the dimensions on this object. We can see 89 rows, or in other words, there's 89 individuals who are male and greater than 15 years old in our data set. And let's go ahead and look at the first four rows of this object, all columns. Here we can see of the first four individuals, they are all males with ages greater than 15. In the next video in this series, we'll introduce the use of logic commands in R, as well as a few other random commands. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.